It is Elgato update day. Happy day. All your little Elgato things are gonna work a little bit better after today. Well, one of your Elgato things. Anything using Camera Hub is gonna have some extra features and we're gonna talk about what those features are. And I know what you're thinking, Harris, you just did an Elgato 2.0 update video. That's true, but that's on a different software. That's Wavelink, their audio mixing software. So if you haven't seen that, I'll put a link to it down below, but I guess this is just the year of Elgato 2.0 update. A lot of new features. This is an exciting update. Let's get into it. Hey, before we jump into the features, I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Owned.Pro, and talk about their widgets that they are making that'll help you make your streams more beautiful. Your one-stop shop for all your stream aesthetic needs. It's 2025, streams are minimal, they are clean, they are simple, and Owned has been making a ton of awesome widgets to give you that clean, minimal look. I use a bunch of theirs on my stream right now, including their new chat tool, which allows you to display a combined chat for multiple platforms directly on your stream, their super clean music widget that I love when I'm using stream beats on my stream, and even two free widgets that we worked on together, which are their Hypometer, which is a train widget, and their label rotator widget which shows you the most recent event of whichever events you want to show on there both of these connect to multiple platforms and you can choose which events trigger the actual actions themselves they're really innovative really simple and really clean widgets so if you're looking to add some minimal 2025 spice i will put a link to these down in the description below check out owned.pro go put some of their widgets on your stream back to the video let's talk about lutz camera hub now has support for something that's going to make your cameras look a little bit better, something called LUTs. If you don't know what LUTs are, they're essentially professional Instagram filters. Same idea. They're color filters for your footage, but typically less tacky and, and very professional. If you've ever tried to color correct your camera inside of OBS, you know it's a giant pain. It's, it's not a good experience. If you're using an Elgato product like one of their webcams or even their cam link to use your fancy camera on, you go inside Camera Hub and you can add your own LUTs to it. It makes color correction as easy as a single button. But then you ask the question, Harris, how do we get LUTs for this? Well, I'm so glad you asked because that brings us to feature number two. There is now a marketplace for Camera Hub. Elgato Marketplace has a Camera Hub section. It's got two main categories in it. You've got LUTs, which we just talked about, and you've got backgrounds for their green screen, their, their automatic NVIDIA broadcast green screen that's built into Camera Hub. So if you want to add some LUTs other than the ones that are built in, which are fine, they sometimes do feel a little Instagram-y, they're a little over the top. You can lower the intensity with the slider, which is great, but uh, Dustin, who is a very professional video editor, has created five LUTs for you, very cinematic, very professional LUTs. We're putting them in the Elgato marketplace. They should be available today. And originally, just like everything else we release, we were planning on just making it straight up free. But we had an idea of what if for the first 30 days, what if it's 99 cents and then every penny we make off that we give to charity. We thought that'd be really cool. For the first 30 days, if you want a really cool LUT and you want to donate a single dollar to charity, now's your chance. And at the end of 30 days, we will be making them free and whatever paycheck Elgato sends us, we will be forwarding to the foundation to decrease world suck, which really felt like a good charity in 2025. <laughs> but it's a foundation that divests charitable funds to dozens of worthy charities, including, I think right now we got Save the Children. You can go on their website and see what they put it towards. So pick up some LUTs and donate to charity at the same time and it's 99 cents. We put up five of them over there. I think you're really gonna like them. The backgrounds are also cool. You got static backgrounds, you got animated backgrounds, great stuff for green screens. Check those out. And before we get into the last big one, uh, lots of little house cleaning things, lots of bug fixes. For example, uh, fixed a problem where the camera, virtual camera freezes when switching tabs or resizing camera hub caused by a memory leak, fixing the green video output in zoom bug on Mac OS, as well as camera hub getting stuck in the getting ready scene. So just kind of general quality of life updates and bug fixes. Oh, and they added a tint slider for the Elgato face cam Neo. That's nice. Also probably important update if you use Epoch Cam is they're no longer gonna be updating that. Mostly just due to the fact that if you're on a Mac, there's the native integration with iPhone camera and there's also just a handful of NDI camera apps now available and apparently it's just an expensive app to upkeep and there are plenty of other great options. They're not shutting it down by the way, it's just not gonna be updated. Let's talk about the last update which has to do with the Elgato prompter and reading a script off of it. Now back about six-ish months ago, Elgato added voice sync which means as as you're reading the script, it moves with your voice. Updated with some new features as well as some performance improvements, which is great because honestly, I tried it once when it first came out. 
and it wasn't reliable enough that I never used it since. So let's move this camera around to face my prompter and we'll see how good it is. So you can see over here, we've got my Elgato prompter. This is a secret one that's gigantic. And inside there, we got my trusty Lumix S5 II. This is the camera that I stream on and we shoot all of our videos on. And if you're wondering why I choose the S5 II, because I get a lot of people asking about it. Um, it's got a built-in fan, so it never overheats. It shoots 6K, so it's extra resolution. And it shoots open gate, it shoots extra tall, so it's really easy to crop into vertical. It's absolutely my favorite content creator camera. I guess until this one just came in this week, the S1R2, but that is not as budget friendly for most streamers. I wouldn't recommend it for streamers anyway. Okay, let's give this a shot. This is a test. I would like to see how well it tracks my voice. How are we doing so far? Oh, are we getting that bug again? I gotta quit out of the app and reopen it. That happened last time. I'm hoping that's uh, just a, a weird beta bug because this is the beta, but it's only about four days from this, uh, this software being launched. So let's quit the app. All right, let's try this again. This is a test. I would like to see how well it tracks my voice. How are we doing so far? Is it still accurate? Any issues? Here's one more test just to make sure it is as smooth as it should be. Because if it can't track well enough, it's not something that I can justify using in my own workflow. But as long as it keeps a steady flow, I think we're good. <laughs> we lost it at the end there. <laughs> It's fascinating. You can see they added this new thing where it it, un, it unhighlights or it it dims down the words that you've already spoken, but it, it's not keeping up to date. It's a little bit behind to a point where it's almost distracting. I'm not crazy about that dimming feature until they get it really, really on there. However, the the movement is actually way better than it used to be. Like that is now 100% usable. I think I would turn off the, what do you call it? The highlight text. And because I only use this feature once, like six months ago, I, I don't know which of these features are new or not, but you can adjust the reading position. So you take that first, you can see the red line going through the line that you're on right now and you can adjust where you want that to be. You can adjust the microphone that it's listening to to hear what you're reading. And of course you have all the other fonts and you know, you got the, the horizontal margins and all the things. Also for any of you that have ever been working on a script in Camera Hub and Camera Hub crashes, it now auto saves your scripts every minute, which I think is great. They've also added support for a bunch of new languages, including Finnish, Greek, Japanese, Korean, Polish, Romanian, Russian, Swedish, Turkish, and Vietnamese. So let's put my Duolingo skills to the test here. We should say my seven years of Japanese lessons, but we're gonna go with Duolingo skills because it's more fun. Why? <laughs> Do I need to change the language in here? This is another test. There's something I have to do? Well, something's not working in Japanese. Uh, by the way, that's just uh, the intro to Demon Slayer, Gurenge by Lisa. I'll ask them why it's not working. This is my first time testing it. I wanted a real test and there's a possibility I'm doing something wrong. So. If I get an answer from them, I'll put it in the, uh, the pinned comment down below. And while you're down there checking for it, I hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this because it actually helps out a ton. So thank you for that. All right, that's where the camera was before. Uh, they've added one more feature also, by the way, which is a Stream Deck button, which you can get from the Elgato uh, Marketplace, where you can send any window directly to your prompter. So you open up a Zoom call or a Skype call, oh, rip Skype, but you set, a, you set up a Zoom call on your computer and you want to send it to your prompter, hit a button, pops up on the prompter. This is a perfect feature for creepers like me who wanna be able to stare the person in the eye when talking to them on a Zoom call. I don't do Zoom calls any other way. But that's it, those are all the updates. Were these the updates you were hoping for for Camera Hub? Is there anything missing that you were hoping they'd add? I'm sure Elgato would appreciate feedback in the comments down below. So do that and uh, make sure you update all your software, your hardware, all the things. That's what I want for you. What I want for me is to go to sleep. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that. Happy streaming.